All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our daily three o'clock live stream from the North Coast Redwoods District of California State Parks. Uh, we have heard from a couple of our other interpreters the last couple of days, and my name is Angie. Of course, I am an interpreter for California State Parks up here in the North Coast Redwoods District as well. And if you've been following along, you have met Ryan and Griff, and they provided some awesome live streams from Humboldt Redwoods State Park the last couple of days. And um, all of the videos that we've shared so far are gonna be saved under our videos tab on our Facebook page. So check those out if you miss them. Um, and uh, let's get started. So today I'm going to be streaming from indoors for a few reasons. Um, the weather is a little bit unpredictable where we are. So I figured I would stay inside and kind of help us to use the tools of our imagination to explore um, some, some new places today. So I know that many of you are many of us are sheltering in place and practicing good social distancing right now, which is so, so important to help keep ourselves and our communities safe. I've been washing my hands constantly and I'm sure all of you have as well. So um, give yourself a nice pat on the back because everybody is really doing a great job at doing their part. And of course, these digital tools can help us to connect even when we are far away and kind of in our homes, in our four walls of our homes. So. So thanks everybody for joining in and I look forward to building some community online today and doing some fun activities. I will go ahead and encourage everybody before we kind of dive into today's live stream to grab, if you have any handy, some art supplies. So I have like some colored pencils, paint brushes, some watercolor paint, anything you like, whether it's crayons or markers or whatever you have, pencils because um, we are going to do a little bit of an art project today, which should be fun. Um, I've never done this on a live stream, so it'll be a good little experiment. And I just want to say that kind of despite these unforeseen circumstances that we're all in, uh, it's important for all of us at California State Parks to continue to connect with you and to uphold the mission of California State Parks, which is to provide for the health, inspiration, and education of California and beyond. So I know that many of our followers and the people that are joining us uh, today are, are not from California, so we welcome you and, and we hope to see you virtually and in person soon in the future. So I know that uh, one of my favorite things to do when I am at home for maybe a long period of time is to get nice and cozy and read a good book and do some art projects. So I'm going to kind of lead you through some of those things right now. And, um, and yeah, so we are going to hopefully all participate in something called the hashtag MPA Art Challenge. And MPA stands for Marine Protected Area. And you can see this beautiful poster behind me is an amazing example of some beautiful art that is inspired by our marine protected areas. And right now there's an online challenge going on that you can find under the hashtag MPA art challenge. That is also kind of the title of this video. So you can click on it there. And the purpose of this challenge is to get people to maybe write a song or draw a picture or record a video um, or um, paint a picture that kind of exemplifies what marine protected areas mean to them. So for those of you who don't know, marine protected areas are a lot like California state parks, um, but they're basically places underwater where we're protecting the habitats and the animals that live in them so that those places and those animals can continue to thrive for many, many years, just like the parks that we know and love and love to visit. So um, I hope that you can all sort of expand your, your family of our protected lands to our underwater places as well by learning about our MPAs. And hopefully this will give you a little bit of inspiration. Um, this, this illustration, like I said, is a great example that shows tons of animals that live in our marine protected areas. Um, and they are beautifully scientifically illustrated a little bit better than what I'm about to show you. Uh, I will actually show you my MPA art challenge at the end. So hang in there so you can see that. But today, what I want to do is actually read a story that's called Imagine a Place. And I think this is fitting for our live stream today because, of course, our marine protected areas are places that we often have to imagine because we can't visit underwater very easily, um, unless maybe you are 
a scuba diver or you're a swimmer or a kayaker or a surfer, and I know that many of our followers and friends are, um, but it often requires some imagination in order to really experience and um, kind of picture what these places are like underwater. So this book is really great. It's quite poetic and there's some beautiful artwork in here that I hope helps to inspire you for your MPA art challenge. Um, remembering that we're trying to capture something that um, explains what MPAs mean to us. So to me, an MPA is a place where animals are able to thrive and grow and reproduce and help contribute to our, our colorful, vibrant, thriving ocean here in California. So whether you live right near the coast or you live further inland or you live somewhere in the world uh, where you don't have a coastline um, right in your backyard like lots of us coastal Californians do, um, this is a great opportunity to kind of discover a new world. So let's get started by reading this book, Imagine a Place by Sarah L. Thompson and paintings by Rob Gonsalves. So I'm gonna try and hold this up as we go and show you the pictures. One more thing too before we get started, you all know how Facebook works. Go ahead and show some love, put some likes on here. You can put comments in. I can see your questions if you have any questions. And if at any point during this time, you're like, wow, Angie, this is so awesome. I'm so enjoying this. Click that share button so you can share with your friends and maybe watch with them at the same time in two different places. All right, so imagine a place. There's some really beautiful artwork in here and I'll try and give you a nice view as we move along. And remember that we're gonna be imagining a place um, in the ocean as we kind of move through this story and hopefully capturing that visually for, for our friends online. All right. <clears throat> Imagine a place where you bend and sway, leap and land right where a story begins. So a lot of these images kind of merge reality and and imagination, you can see here. Imagine a place where water is solid, light is liquid, sky a frozen river flowing under your feet. Imagine a place where your mind opens wider than any walls around you. So this is a time when we are surrounded by four walls, but um, we are able to use our imaginations to expand our sort of current reality to um, some of these beautiful outdoor places that we love, like parks. Imagine a place where freedom is as sweet as falling water, light as a feather, welcomed into the gentle air. Maybe you can imagine what it's like to be there under sunny skies near a nice fountain. Imagine a place where spring becomes an avalanche of blossoms, a torrent of sweetness overflowing the earth. Hi everybody, thanks for joining. Imagine a place where your ship holds all you once knew and the horizon offers all you will ever need. I love this one. Houseboats, maybe floating above a marine protected area. Imagine a place where time is counted by ticks and talks, but space is measured in sunset. Lots of imagination <laughs> happening in this book. Imagine a place where each turn takes you home. Imagine a place where the tang of pine meets the salt of the sea, where adventure finds a waiting heart. It's kind of the closest we're going to get in this book to a marine habitat. You can see this is sort of like a sandy shore and people are enjoying this area by surfing and maybe body surfing and just kind of kind of people watching. Imagine a place where words shelter you, ideas uphold you, and thoughts lead you to the secret inside the labyrinth.
Imagine a place where brick and mortar dig deep roots, where buds unfurl as soft as sunlight, strong as stone. So you can see a couple people kind of building their community. I know all of us are doing that online right now. Thanks for all being here and being a part of this. Imagine a place where fire is cool against your skin, a glimmering echo of a star. Imagine a place where music sings in every breeze of a summer night and the wind twirls you in a waltz that lasts until dawn. Maybe you can imagine what it would be like to be dancing in this grand hallway or maybe dancing in the kelp forest. Imagine a place where castle and cloud shift from square to square and the world lies in the winner's hand. Mm, this is one of my favorites. Imagine a place where the sigh of surf and the whisper of waves spill from your suitcase and drift into your dreams. Imagine here. So I know we're all in our homes right now, um, but we still have our imaginations to explore places that maybe we can't get to easily um, now or regularly, like under like underwater. So I hope that this book, Imagine a Place, help to kind of expand your imagination during these times. And like I mentioned before, one of my favorite things to do when I'm inside for a long time is to do some artwork. So I am participating in the hashtag MPA art challenge. And again, this is just to ask people to illustrate whether it's in a song or a story or a, a painting or a drawing to tell everyone what marine protected areas mean to you. So like I said before, our MPAs are sort of like our underwater parks. They're places out in the ocean where animals and plants are safe and they're able to survive and thrive. So I went ahead and did a little <laughs> MPA art challenge illustration, nowhere near the, the caliber that the illustrations in that book are, but I figured I would share. And you can find when this is done, <laughs> I'll go ahead and post it online under that hashtag so you can check out the final version. And um, I encourage you guys to all, all of you that are watching, to participate in this MPA art challenge too. Think about uh, what an MPA means to you or what does a park mean to you and kind of extend that out on uh, out into the ocean, right? Because these underwater places also need protection and love and appreciation and we can explore them using our imaginations all the time. And when everybody's out and about, I encourage you all to go out to your MPAs in person, find out where they are, learn about the animals that live there. Um, in this picture, I love to scuba dive. So I put my Imagine a Place MPA art challenge is me swimming through the kelp forest with lots of big fish. And I even wrote an Imagine a Place uh, kind of phrase for my painting that says, imagine a place where vibrant living rainbows fit within a square inch. So you can see on our rocky reef right here, we have tons of life, which is a real life depiction of what our rocky reefs are like on, in Northern California. You fly through the forest to explore what's hidden right before us. So I always say that scuba diving in the Pacific Ocean is a lot like flying through the redwood forest that we have up here. So I encourage you all to participate in this and maybe illustrate what experience you have with marine protected areas or with the ocean. I'm going to go ahead and post some videos and um, some inspiration for you and I'll, I'll kind of give some resources and coloring sheets for kids so that you can all participate in this and maybe get some some good ocean content in your life during this time. So with that I'll say thank you all so much for tuning in and um, again this video will be saved under our videos tab on our Facebook page, please click share so that we can share this experience with all of your friends and followers and tune in tomorrow at 3 p.m. for our next live stream. Thanks. See ya.